Hello students, I am Dr. Tonmoy Vishash. I hope you all are fine. So today we are going to discuss a multiple choice question which you can see on your display that is reaction of this 3 hydroxybenzaldehyde with sodium hydroxide <coughs> and hydrogen peroxide. So the question is what is the major product of this reaction? For that purpose I have provided four options for you. You have to find out what is the right answer. So as usual I first request you. <coughs> sorry as usual i first request you please pause the video and try by yourself okay so it will help you for your self evaluation and i suggest you whatever answer you got don't just think which is right or wrong please mention in the comment box and definitely after some time it will be helpful for uh, it will you will get the right answer and this way it will help me to understand how many people are attempting this question also okay so uh, i think you have tried by yourself so let me provide you the answer before going to details i want to mention that this today's lecture will cover few interesting points like the nature of the reagent and after that mechanism and finally some conclusion with some retrosynthesis or you may consider the preparation of product so a lot of interesting chemistry to be learned in this video please watch until the end okay so let's start so first reactivity of the reagent see this is these are the reactant for our reaction means this three hydroxybenzaldehyde hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide okay and we i i shall at the end we will provide how to prepare this reagent so this three hydroxybenzaldehyde have i believe mainly two types of property it can show under the reaction condition what means point number one if you see this hydroxyl group can undergo some acid based reaction with sodium hydroxide and we know the phenols are sufficiently acidic such that deprotonation can occur in any way so what first reaction possible that is acid based reaction and second see this aldehyde group this is actually an electron deficient and some nucleophile can attack okay so what can second reaction possible here second reaction possible is nucleophilic addition okay this now if when i'm saying nucleophilic addition who will act as a nucleophile two options possible one is hydrogen peroxide another is sodium hydroxide but interestingly sodium hydroxide will prefer to act as base rather than nucleophile why because because this hydroxyl is more harder and by the way i have already discussed a lecture about nucleophilicity and the nature of nucleophile so if you want to learn more about this concept please visit that video i shall provide in the i button now what happens this nmh it act as a base mainly so how the nucleophile is generated so actually this hydrogen peroxide act as a nucleophile better to say not hydrogen peroxide the anionic form of hydrogen peroxide what is mean this hydrogen peroxide reacts with this hydroxyl and it's a reversible reaction and it produces this hoo minus anion this is actually a hydroperoxide anion and this center this oxygen act as the nucleophile and we know that this compounds are very good nucleophile why because see the two lone pairs adjacent together act repels each other and this repulsion makes them better nucleophile rather than good base okay so that's why in nucleophilic attack this hydroperoxide will participate not the hydro hydroxyl anion okay so we have understood this basic part now let's learn little bit about dekin reaction why because the condition you can see is provided here this is nothing but a condition for dekin reaction so i believe you must learn little bit about dekin reaction so what happened in dekin reaction in dekin reaction actually we take ortho and para substituted better to say ortho and para hydroxyl substituted specifically benzaldehyde derivative and if we react this NaOH hydrogen peroxide then oxidation reaction occurs and ultimately produces the phenol how see first of all as i told that oh can undergo acid based reaction with sodium hydroxide so what it can produce it can produce initially the o minus the phenoxide means you may consider the g is o minus and in second step what happened the hydroperoxide anion which we have shown previously that produced means here 
it will undergo as a nucleophile so it will attack means nucleophilic addition and what it produces it produces this addition product now in the next step what happens in next step in next step this lone pair pushes here and the phenyl group with this o minus at ortho and para i repeat phenyl group attached o minus at ortho and para position undergo migration on this electrophilic oxygen center this oxygen center is electrophilic and subsequently this bond breaks and oh leaves as a living group by the way although oh is not a good living group so it leaves because the reaction is carried out under alkaline medium so by the way nucleophilic substitution and nature of living group based on this topic i have already uploaded a lecture you may visit if you want to learn more so now question we have we have understood that phenyl group migrates attached to this o minus and that is the important thing uh, and that's why the hyd the phenyl group migration is more than hydride generally what is observed generally observed hydride is more than phenyl but for this special case i believe i mean special case means this hyd o minus attached to ortho and para position increases the electron density means you may consider that this o minus pushes his electron pair here and consequently this ortho position and para position it increases the electron density consequently means that is the main reason why here the oxygen attached to ortho para phenyl migrates means its migratory amplitude is higher than hydride so that is the basic concept so what is produced in this reaction in this reaction after this phenyl migration produced a phenolic S, uh, actually formate ester okay formate ester means ester of formic acid and in this case phenol derivative and this formate ester undergo facile hydrolysis by the way i have already uploaded a lecture about hydrolysis of ester in acid and base you may visit for details learning so what happened in this case in this case the hydro hydroxyl group attack see here hydroxyl is produced so again so it base is acting in a catalytic fashion in this two step for this two step so it opens up and after that it push back and it leaves so what in this case is produced in this case it is produced that is g attached phenoxide plus formic acid okay and we know that this formic acid this molecule is a very strong acid so this o minus abstract this proton and ultimately result in sodium formate actually why sodium because we have taken sodium hydroxide the counter cation we must be careful we don't should not forget this so it will produce this sodium formate and this phenol and as i told previously the hydroxyl group is at the or ortho and para that's why we will get the catechol means the ortho derivative ortho derivative uh, or another possibility is there that is quinol okay this is a para derivative so this is the basic mechanism for the decan reaction now what happens what happens in this case okay by the way another question which i forget to answer why hydrolysis so easily see this hydride is act, this is actually a this is actually a very less bulky this is a point number one and point number two is no plus i effect plus i or plus r effect because in case of alkyl like methyl group shows plus i effect or another thing for phenyl show plus r effect which reduces the electron density at this carbon consequently the nucleophilic attacks is hampered okay so that's why phenolic ester undergo very facile hydrolysis under the reaction condition to produce the final product so what happens in our reaction mechanism in this case the everything is same like this hydroperoxide anion means this one attacks the carbonyl group it opens up ultimately produces this and as i told initial reaction will be the acid based reaction which is the fastest because nucleophilic addition is reversible but acid based reaction in this case is very fast and it's irreversible so what it produces this o minus and this o minus after that this nucleophilic attack occurs and produces this one 
okay so you may say that there will be a okay i i want to mention that it is expected the reaction of this phenolic oh and sodium hydroxide equilibrium is preferred to have in the right side that is phenoxide but there may be some amount of phenol also present in the reaction medium so in this case it is not good to say that it's completely irreversible reaction okay so please correct myself what i have told now what happens in this case in this case see the which is at the meta position which i haven't discussed in the previous time what happened in case of meta in case of meta dekin reaction in for dekin reaction phenyl cannot migrate and what happens in this case since this o minus at the meta increases the electron density in the ortho these two and para here but not this carbon where with this carbon where migration which participates in migration so consequently it will not be so efficient to participate in the migration so what happens this will push and the hydride will migrate with its bond pair and this oh will leave so consequently what it will generate actually this is you may consider 3 hydroxy benzoic acid derivative benzoic acid by the way it will not be able to remain in the acid form because in the medium there is additional base sodium hydroxide so it will remain in the carboxylate anion okay so after subsequent workup you can get the corresponding carboxylic acid okay so in case of you have understood i guess who migrates and why this hydride migrates because the oh group is in the meta position okay so what message we can get from this two study means ortho para versus meta this dekin reaction is so selective for the oh group and it is essential that oh group should be uh, sorry oh group should be in the ortho and para okay so ortho and para it is essential okay so now what is the answer of our question so answer of the our problem is this is actually a meta hydroxy benzoic acid okay so this is the answer and actually this is a exceptional example i believe all of you must remember that dekin hydro dekin oxidation with meta hydroxy benzaldehyde resulted phenyl migration and phenyl migration this much amount of is this much amount is enough for you okay so this is the answer so in conclusion what you have learned today we have learned today that dekin reaction is an oxidation reaction by hydrogen peroxide and this hydrogen peroxide is acting as an oxidant and in dekin reaction para hydroxyl attached para or ortho or para hydroxyl attached to its phenyl group migrates over hydride and the meta migratory meta hydroxyl attached phenyl group has lesser migratory aptitude than hydrogen this point and question why this meta less that is because it cannot increase the electron density on the position of the carbon attached to the uh, means aldehyde that's why the phenyl migration phenyl migration uh, cannot overcome the hydrogen migration okay so that is the reason why the phenyl cannot migrate so fast now second under the reaction condition and uh, which one last point is under the reaction condition which is alkaline in nature result in the hydrolysis of the produce ester and ultimately we get what either ortho 1 to dihydroxy benzene derivative or para and ultimately this is the strategy to prepare 1 to dihydroxy or 1 for dihydroxy benzene final so at the end as a bonus information we will discuss about retrosynthesis as i told see in case of ortho and para it is easier see both are in meta orientation so and another thing we know that aldehyde group is a meta directing so that's why it is better to start with aldehyde so we can we can consider that this if we break this bond how OH could be introduced here through diazonium salt how diazonium salt could be prepared from aniline derivative how aniline could be prepared from nitro derivative and how nitro could be prepared from aldehyde derivative now question why this strategy see this benzaldehyde is actually a meta directing group so if it is meta directing so if you do aromatic electrophilic substitution on benzaldehyde it is meta directing so the strategy of the forward reaction will be first you have to take this benzaldehyde and react with mix acid or you can consider potassium nitrate plus concentrated sulfuric acid so in the re during the reaction it will produce 
nitric acid because we know the nitrate solvent treated with sulf concentrated sulfuric acid is produced nitric acid and this nitric acid will react with sulfuric acid and produce the NO2 plus which act as a electrophile electrophile for this meta nitration reaction okay now if you reduce this meta nitro derivative selectively so what it will get you will get this amine derivative okay you must be careful what re mean you must be careful about selectivity of choosing reagent because in this case aldehyde is present now in the third step what this amine could be uh, form this diazonium salt by NaNO2 dilute HCl okay NaNO2 dilute HCl and temperature must be 0 to 5 degree be very careful about this temperature factor and this diazonium salt if you heat the temperature in the aqueous medium greater than 5 degree centigrade so then this diazonium salt will break nitrogen gas will eliminate and ultimately result in phenolic derivative by the way one smart choice is that you can take this reagent you can mix sodium nitride dilute HCl and 0 to 5 degree centigrade and let it warm up to room temperature then directly we will end up with this not the diazonium salt okay that was not our product so this is the end of this discussion i hope this uh, study may be helpful for you if this teaching is helpful for you then like the video and uh, write me your opinion in the comment box and if you think it's worthy please share this lecture with your friends such that other can enjoy the benefit and most importantly for my channel please subscribe to my channel chemistry the mystery of molecules so thank you again for watching the video stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video